deploying a model using class. So here, first, first I import NumPy and Pandas libraries. Then after that, I have loaded the data set, the mushroom data sets that I get in Kaggle. So here, the data set contains 8,124 rows and 23 columns. Okay. Next, after loading the data set, I have checked if there are duplicates data. So upon checking the data set is already clean, there is no any duplicates. So no need to run this code. The drop a duplicate. Next, I did um, I rename the some columns. For example, the class I make it a mushroom class. Then here I I check the mushroom shape and mushroom info. So I have here the total of twenty three columns. Um. This is the, the head of my data frame, mushroom data frame. So I have 23 columns. So I have 22, 22 features. Next, um, I import label encoder. So to um, convert the a string into integer. So after that, I have checked if I already uh, converted the string to integer. So here it is. Here is the 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 new data frame. So after that, uh, so I have here the feature selections. So X, uh, let the X, the uh, the X contains the features of the mushroom data frame, and the Y here is the the target which is the mushroom class so if you if we check the head of our x this is this is what we have and the head of a y we have one and zero next to that i have imported that train train test split the so I the test size I make a thirty percent of that data set thirty percent of the data set <coughs> test and then I imported the random forest regressor so the estimators I have here five hundred and the max that is I set it to twelve. So then <clears throat> let us now come to evaluation piece. So if we evaluate the, our the model, so I got here ninety nine percent and one point seventy two for the mean absolute error. So after the evaluation of the model, I have ex import job lead. This is to export the model that I have created. So job lead that dump model I name it to mushroom case study and now. So after that I have here I I installed class in the and then I I import class and 
requests from plus and imported course from plus course. Then I also enable the debug mode of the class. Then for the main route of this, this is the main route. And, and then this is now the, the route for the prediction of the mushroom if it is edible or poisonous. So let me and for the front end of my web this is not the front the code for the front end. So the most important here is the Ajax in the, the bottom. This one. And of course, the URL of our server. So let me now open, let me open the Anaconda PowerShell. Okay, so I save my folder in the desktop. Desktop and under inside the desktop, I have a folder. Shall we uh, and then machine learning and then let's now try to run our the app that time. Let's try to run our server. So. It is now running, so let me get the URL. Okay. So, here. So, this is now we have. Uh, access the main world and then let's go now let's predict so here actually I make I see the because I have so many features in my in my data frame, so I have saved here already. Hmm. Okay, so this one I, I already copied this. So I'm cutting point ninety nine or this already one. So one is equivalent to edible. So let us check. Um, I'm sorry, this one. Our front end. So here it is. So we have machine learning mushroom identification. So we will identify the mushroom if it is edible or poisonous using these uh, features. So for the shape of cup, let's say for example convex. For the surface, I have used, and for the color of cup, let's um, let's say cinnamon color, and for the bruises, if uh, yes, and for the odor, let's select if it is musty, and for the gel attachment, attach, field spacing, crowded, gel size, broad. Red for the gill color and the stock shape for enlarging stock so cup and then subsurface above the we have fibers subsurface below ring let's say scaly and for the color stock color above ring let's say we have brown and for the stock color below ring let's say white and for the type of gill partial for the color let's say it's white 
And for the number of ring, same thing as two ring rings. For the type, uh, large. For the sparkling color, let's say chocolate. And for the population, it is um, three, three scattered. And for the habitat, let's say the mushroom is in the meadows. So, so, according to our model, the mushroom is edible.